All right, now this is a cool, you know, quirky little page um, over here. Uh, obviously, I am uh, representing myself as Rambo with a machine gun. Uh, but let's uh, let's actually add our sort of our little final thing, and we'll do a little bit of JavaScript. So um, let's talk about the difference of what we have here: HTML, semantic markup right uh, basically what we have here is content only we have a paragraph text that we indicated as a paragraph we have an image and we have an h1 this all this stuff is saying this is the content of the page and semantically this is what the content represents great our css that did all this styling that allowed us to make it look pretty and just basically add whatever values we wanted to the page great now, JavaScript adds functionality to the page, and um, JavaScript is very strong, and what I'm going to show you now is very minor, um, it's like for a beginner class, we don't want to get too deep in here, but it's good to wrap your head around the concept of what we're doing. So let's start by finding um, just something, one more CSS thing to do to our page, something quirky, something fun, and um, I don't know. I, if you go to th uh, w3schools.com, they have plenty of options over here for you to click into as far as properties go. Let me see if I find, uh, oh, wow, this is more than I even anticipated. Um, let me find the condensed list. Okay, why don't we go for, uh, where's there? They have some kind of uh, gradient that they're working with. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah. So much stuff. All right. Well, let's just let's use border eh, for eh, for simplicity's sake over here. Um, actually, no, no. Let's let's do this. Here we go. Default, not the ref. There we go. Here, here's what I was looking for. The some of the the cooler, funner stuff is the the CSS3. Um, here we go. Here's my gradients that I was looking for. So, well, I'll just show you exactly what gradients do. I'll just sort of scroll down until I find something that. Um, yeah, this is perfect. So background gradient. Gradient's a way just to create some funky colors like this. Rasta. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, anyway, so here we go. I'm just going to copy this text, and then I'm going to go to CodePen, and what do I want to apply that to? Uh, ah, let's see. What happens if I apply a background to about me? Ah, look at that. Just so, let's just take a step back and say, don't ever, ever, ever do this professionally, okay? This is very disgusting looking. <laughs> but it's fine. It's Right now, it's just uh, it, the point is, is we get to see what we're talking about over here. So this is cool. Now I have a funky background text. Uh, let me add some JavaScript. So I'm going to add some JavaScript that does something very simple. It's going to pop up a pop-up window that says, um, here's the text. Let me write the text first. I go, um, I love linear gradient. Yes, we do now, don't we? And let me copy this into, I'm going to cut this out of my page, similar to cut. And here is the Remember, I cut it because now it's loaded in my clipboard. I'm going to go alert, and then the braces, and look what happens. There's nothing in there, right? But all of a sudden, we got this alert box. This is not an accident. This is something that we're doing. So let me click OK. OK. And then inside of there, I'll do two sets of double quotes. OK. Still nothing in there. And now, if I pop my content in there, I love linear gradient look at that so notice how this is the JavaScript doing this and when we put inside of there has it pop up very cool so the overview is one more time just to reinforce the point HTML semantic markup it's your content and what that content is it describes the content um, CSS this is your style so this makes everything look pretty and um, as pretty as this <laughs> H1 gradient header is now. Uh, and finally, JavaScript, it is the function of the page. So it allows you to function. It, it uh, creates some kind of functionality in the page above and beyond the abilities of HTML or CSS. So after you're done with this, we give it a save. And now 
here we have the link to our CodePen page. 